Good evening, and welcome once again to Hollow Wicked's Arcade of Terror, where we only play games about skeletons, necromancers, witches. I'm just going to stop myself there, because we're not even going to play a video game tonight. In fact, we're going outside, we're going to touch grass, and we're going to unleash carnage on Sleepy Hollow. And you know why that is? Because it's Mischief Night. Mischief Night! That intro theme is courtesy of our guest this evening, who comes to us from the NazMaldoom.com recruitment list. We invited one member of that list to Sleepy Hollow to see if they're a fit for the crew. We're short an audio engineer, and our guest happens to be a musician. We had to obscure his face for both our protection and his, but since we don't have that pixely technology thing to do so, we just beat him to a pulp. Please give a cold and unforgiving welcome to our musical guest for the evening, Swine Tooth. It's mischief night, the evening before Halloween where tradition dictates you must go out and terrorize locals with minor acts of vandalism. I'm going to be tied up tomorrow, perhaps along with some others, so I don't have time to film an episode on Halloween itself, which is why we're coming to you live tonight instead. The sun hasn't set in Sleepy Hollow, so it's not dark enough for us to hit the streets just yet. Instead, we're going to cause some damage from within the dungeon with some prank phone calls. Frequent collaborator Garth hooked us up with this book of classic prank phone call prompts and this phone to reach the outside world with. I'm going to get started with a random bit from the book. Swinetooth, get me the number for a bowling alley. Three, three. Sleepy Hollow Lanes, what do you need? Hello, do you have 10 pound ball? No, we do not. Oh. I think you're the first day to call in here and ask for 10 pound ball. Bigman Pharmacy. Do you have Prince Albert in a can? It's 2022, we don't sell tobacco. Hello? Is Mr. Wall there? Yes, this is Ted Free Wall. Is your refrigerator running? Well, Pilgrim, I don't have a fridge, but I have an ice box. Huh? Look, this has not been successful, so I'm going off the script, throwing out the book, trying one more prank call before we call this a wash. Johnson resident. Listen here, Johnson. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna drain your blood. I'm gonna pour the blood in your skull and drink the blood out of your skull. Oh, I'm gonna bite your fingers off. Man, I'm gonna bury you so deep. I'm gonna roll you up in the cheapest rug you've ever seen to bury you under the ground. They're never, ever gonna find you. You hear me, Johnson? You better get out of town. You better flee tonight to Nazmaldun. Nazmaldun, Nazmaldun. Success. Always trust your instincts. Swine Tooth, hit the theme. Almost sundown now. So while we still have to stay inside for a few more minutes, please direct your attention to this Venn diagram Snake Mother created. It's of the elements that make up the Arcade of Terror. Those three elements are horror, video games, and pro wrestling. Well, we've been heavy on the horror, and playing even one video game was more than I ever wanted to. Snake Mother believes we've been neglecting the pro wrestling aspect of this formula. While I haven't been in a wrestling match in a full year now, I'm 99% confident that I'm immortal, so it doesn't matter if I'm gone for another year, another five years, another 270 years, you will never be rid of me. After the water wars, after the robot wars, after the water robot wars, after all of you are long gone, I can still debut for New Canada Pro in the rubble of Philadelphia in the year 2165 in the opening match against a, a nuclear abomination with 12 arms. Believe me, I can wait. But I digress. Acting on Snake Mother's sage advice, there will be more pro wrestling content in this very episode. Starting with the backbone of professional wrestling, the highlight reel. Why do pro wrestlers love a highlight reel? Because literally anyone can look competent in two second intervals. So when you string together 50 two second intervals and play some intense sounding music over top of it, any wrestler can come out looking like a million bucks. This particular highlight reel focuses on myself 
and my tag team partner Frightmare taking on two of our most hated rivals, the Batiri of Kodama and Oberian. This is a, a highlight reel worm food was working on that ended up ultimately not being used because the match was canceled. But as I like to say, waste not, want not, roll of footage. There's a trail that's winding through the Everglades. Land where skies are always blue above Where each flower in its bower never fades There I left the one I love Soon I'm gonna leave all my cares behind For I've made, yes, I've made up my mind Soon I'll wander down the Tamiami Trail, Tamiami Trail where it leads down to the sea There is where the sun is shining daily Every little piece said what, what was the music? What was with that? You ever seen a wrestling highlight video? I'll deal with worm food later For now, we need to get back on task Unfortunately for us, all the classic Mischief Night pranks require things we don't keep in the dungeon Eggs? No Flour? No use for it. Soap? Ha! Shaving cream? Ridiculous. Laundry detergent? That's rich. No, we're gonna have to go into town on a little field trip to get some of these items for ourselves. Join me! No, just stay there. Stay there. Alright? Just listen. You, you couldn't have found any metal? Black metal? Death metal? False metal? Speed metal? Thrash metal? Doom metal? Trash metal? Crust metal? Basically anything other than what you went with. I said to the I'm at the same jerk's house I broke into last year when we needed a kitchen. Let's see if they changed the locks. Looks like they did. No problem, I got the trusty Scroogey. We're in. Wipe your feet this time, no footprints this year. We've entered through the kitchen. We're gonna find a lot of stuff we need in here. Perfect, eggs, two dozen. We cover a lot of cars with these. These people are all decorated for Halloween. Mostly good, look at this. Pin the nose on the witch. I find that offensive. Yeah, flour. You toss this on anything, antique it. Pumpkin soda, not a trick though. We're gonna leave this. Look at this, olive oil cooking spray. Spray this on all kinds of handrails. Laundry detergent. Pour this in any bank fountain. Make a mess. We got soap. Plenty of soap. Use these to mark up tons of car windows. Mark a Nas Muldoon on all of them. Toilet paper. Economy pack. No shortage of trees in Sleepy Hollow. Let's get ready to decorate them all. We got everything we need. Let's get out of here, worm food. You got a free hand? Grab this trash off the door. I've got all the materials I need to start raising some hell. I've also called in a werewolf sighting to get the police force preoccupied. We'll give them 30 to 45 minutes to arrive at the scene. Plenty of time for another pro wrestling segment. The shoot interview is a pro wrestling tradition that up until recently, I assumed involved someone being shot. But as it turns out, it's just the wrestler being interviewed, giving their unfiltered opinion on other wrestlers. Easy enough, although I would prefer someone getting shot. It's my shoot interview! Swine Tooth is gonna throw out the names and images of some wrestlers I'm familiar with. And I'm gonna tell you what I really think about them. Strongly dislike. Brings my piss to a boil. Uh, maybe they should choke on their own vomit. No comment, can I say? No, I hate him. I have no words to describe how much I dislike this person. Hate her. I don't want to talk about that person. Hope they get by a car. Not gonna loan that guy money. Hope they get hit by a bus. That really chaps my ass. Hope they get hit by a dump truck and then ran over by a train. 
Ooh. Not sending this guy a Christmas card. Is there a cure for leprosy? No? Hope you get it. Hope you get eaten by a bear. Definitely hate him. Hope they jump off something high and land on something hard or sharp. Hate him. Not a fan. I have a negative opinion of this person. Can't stand him. Nope. Hate him. Is it too harsh to say I hope they die? Oh, that was cathartic. But it's finally time to go forth into the night and visit havoc on the citizens of Sleepy Hollow. Swine Tooth, hit me with that theme one more time. Westchester County Penitentiary. Please press 1 to accept the charges. I'm using my one guaranteed phone call to check into the show with an update. A uh, mischief night tip. If you're going to put sugar in the gas tank of a police cruiser, make sure that cruiser is not currently occupied. This puts a damper on my mischief night celebration. But no prison can hold me, so I'll be out soon enough. Wormfood and I are also taking the time we have in here to recruit. So it's not a total loss. Snake Mother in her infinite wisdom planned for this eventuality and insisted I pre-tape a segment in case I wasn't back in the dungeon to do it live. In keeping with our wrestling themed content, we've seen in-ring action, we've taken a peek backstage, and now let us explore another aspect of the art form, the promo. In a segment we're calling... Wormfu, what's the name you came up with? Promotheus. Bringing hot fire to all mankind. Is that really what we're calling it? That's not going to fit on a graphic? Is there a graphic? There is. What does it look like? Well, it better not be a classical painting of Prometheus with a microphone photoshopped into his hand. There's a trail that's wide so help me not, small dude. You better not have used that Greek diner font. Did you at least get swine to, to make a theme song or did you just use the same music for the... Yeah, I, I hear it now. The promo, the pro wrestler's greatest tool to let you know who they are and what they're about. What we're going to witness tonight is my favorite promo of all time. Shout out to the boar for doing his part and reposting this every few months. But tonight, it's my turn to repost it right here on the Arcade of Terror. Behold the radiance that is Antichristo. I welcome you to the stage, sir, and I'd like to know how do you feel for the Mexican public to wrestle tonight? First off, let's take a look at this guy. He's wearing black and yellow like a CZW era Bryce Remsburg. And his mask looks like he has sunglasses on. Genius! Because the Antichrist isn't supposed to take a form you would expect. Okay, you know, I I'm just want to tell you one thing. The thing is that I'm the Antichrist. He wants to tell us just one thing, and that is that he is the Antichrist. Mission accomplished. End of promo, right? Wrong! And I want other people to have respect on me because I'm the Antichrist. Turns out Antichristo has more than one thing he wants us to know. He also wants the people to respect him. So, staying on brand, the Antichrist is supposed to be the great deceiver. And Antichristo has deceived us a mere 15 seconds into this promo. And I don't know who's on the rest against me because I'm the best. This man comes right out and says he doesn't know who his opponent is tonight. And it doesn't matter, because he is the best. What a power move. And I, I want to show the people that Antichrist is the number one. And that's it. I don't have nothing more to say because the Antichrist is number one. Antichristo makes his point that he is the best. He is number one. And he is fully prepared to show the people these facts. And then decisively ends the interview. Again. For real this time. Still, we wish you very much luck, sir. Yeah. Let, me tell, you one more. Let me tell you one more thing. Let me tell you one more thing. Deceived again. He wants to tell us just one more thing. You know this is going to be poignant. In this world, world, the number one, the number one and the best is the Antichrist. But not God. Not God because the Antichrist, it's me. Thank you. Did 
Did you catch that? Antichristo directly challenging God. No wonder he didn't care who his opponent for the match was. He delivers this line with so much conviction. God himself was probably checking over his own shoulder for the next week. Gracias, señor. Bueno, aquí como nos acaba de informar, él es el número uno. Nadie lo puede superar, nadie lo puede mejorar. Aquí vamos a ver nuestra siguiente pelea. I say with no irony that nothing any wrestler has ever done has made me want to see what they do next more than this promo. Antichristo, wherever you are, I hail you, I salute you, all glory. Do we have what we need? No, you come up with a title and a graphic. I'm not going to get arrested, so this is never going to air. I'm not wasting any more time on it. Westchester County Penitentiary was designed by amateurs. They have anything. They have an Iron Maiden, a torture rack, pressing board, hot coals, a stretcher. I escaped easily and even took some mementos with me. Look, I've got this shiv made out of a toothbrush. That should be useful later. Oh, and some authentic prison toilet wine. And I'll partake myself, but keep it around. I think it'll age maybe by mischief night next year. Maybe we'll have a guest. Until we meet again, remember to follow me on Twitter, tune into IWTV, and subscribe to the Arcade of Terror at youtube.com slash Arcade of Terror, where we just hit a huge milestone of 100,000 views. All glory to all viewers, but most glory to subscriber Jonathan Archer for his undying support. Make sure to enjoy Mischief Night as irresponsibly as possible, and above all things, Oh, glory, Nazma Dune. You got Bacabella's address? Let's go.